Former New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez appeared in court today after being charged with first-degree murder. Prosecutors asked to reschedule that hearing because they need more time to gather evidence for the grand jury. His case might be the most notorious, but here in the Mid-State, local athletes are also in the news for all of the wrong reasons. Former Mount Pleasant quarterback Princeton Harlan will spend 10 years in prison after admitting to sex acts with a 12-year-old girl. Last month, the Vanderbilt football team dismissed four players amid a Metro sex crimes investigation on campus. And then last week, three MTSU football players were arrested in an assault investigation. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez here now to shed some light on what some call a growing problem. Eric? That's right, Stacy. Earlier today, I talked to a retired NFL player the league chose to help rookies stay on the straight and narrow. Now, he says the best way to keep pro, college, and high school athletes out of trouble is through a network of positive support. Freddie Scott II was an NFL receiver for four years. He played with and learned from some notable role models. Peyton Manning, I was there his rookie year. Barry Sanders retired the year I was there in, in, in Detroit. Now he's paying it forward, like he did at the NFL Rookie Symposium last June. While he was warning rookies of the pitfalls of fame and fortune, news broke that Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez had been arrested in connection with a murder. Shock, disappointment. A lot of questions. While Hernandez is the most prominent, he's by no means the only athlete making headlines. Four Vanderbilt football players and three others at MTSU are currently in the midst of their own controversies. We really need to peel the onion back a little bit more and say, okay, what are the reasons why? Why do young men feel like these behaviors are acceptable? That's why Scott created Unlock the Champion a Nashville nonprofit that keeps athletes of all ages grounded. Scott says a star player's negative perception can start as early as middle school. You're groomed in a culture that because you're an athlete, rules that apply to everyone else do not apply to you. Scott says the best way to fight that is through a year-round support system that starts early in life with friends and neighbors. And you never know the level of impact that you can have on a young person by showing them an alternative to some of the decisions that we're seeing just rampant in today. Now at this time, the former Vanderbilt players do not face any criminal charges. Now if you'd like to learn more about Scott's work with NFL players and also athletes right here in the Mid-State, go to Fox17.com and click on Fox Links. Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.